Jerry Lynn with a reputation miles long, but reputation means absolutely nothing once the cage door is locked and he has to stare eye to eye with PJ Polanco, a man that is absolutely obsessed with beating Jerry Lynn. After what we have seen all night long, Taipei death matches, dog collar matches, the 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 ceremony, the, the honoring of Terry Funk here tonight, the pressure on the shoulders of both PJ Polanco and Jerry Lynn. And Buck, if there were ever two, two guys back there that can deliver in this kind of a pressure situation, it would be these two. Jerry Lynn and PJ Polanco locking up, working their way around the ropes right now to start things off in this steel cage match. Jerry Lynn's got him back into a corner. Are we gonna see a clean break in a cage match? Why? why? Why would the referee break? I never understood why a referee would break off something like that in a cage. What's he gonna do, disqualify him? Jerry Lynn broke clean, but apparently not fast enough for PJ Polanco. He's making friends in Philadelphia once again. And again, remember, Dawn Marie, the keeper of the key at ringside, Buck. Jerry Lynn, PJ Polanco, feeling each other out here in the opening moments. Jerry Lynn, of course, you said it. Been a professional wrestler since 1988. My first recollection of seeing him were the wars when he had with Sean Wattman and Global. Remember the Mr. JL days? I'm sure he would like to forget those. I was about to say, I don't think that was his proudest moments. His proudest moments were here in this building in Philadelphia. The wars he had with DJ Palaka, the wars with Rob Van Dam, the classic matches he had. Oh, wait a minute now, Hammerlock and Whoa, put on the brakes there. P.J. Polanco managing to stop himself just short of having his head rammed into the steel. Something I remember about P.J., when I was a ring announcer in the company, during intermission, P.J. would usually wrestle before intermission, and P.J. would always pull me aside, as he did everybody. He would say, how was my match? What, what do you think I could have done wrong? You're not just a ring announcer. What do I know? And I would be as polite as possible. I would not tell him anything to critique him, because who am I? And he would say, he'd say, okay, cut the bullshit. What do you think? And that's the kind of guy he is. He wants you to be straight up with him. And that's the kind of a man he is in and out of the ring. So I would like to see PJ Polanco get his win back. But Jerry Lynn, one of the most respected men in this business, fuck as well. Jerry Lynn with the flying head scissors, then the arm drag into the armbar. We're actually seeing wrestling to kick off this steel cage match. That's the interesting thing about PJ Polanco. As arrogant as he seems outside the ring, he was always looking for ways to right. improve. He took his craft seriously, folks. Yes. As much as he might spit at fans and yell at them, at the same time, he was a student of the game, trained at the Hart Brothers Wrestling Academy. PJ Polanco knows about wrestling, and right now he fires on a chop on Jerry Lynn in the corner. A second chop. Now Lynn reverses the situation. Chops by Jerry Lynn inside the steel cage. And Jerry Lynn's not going to have any of that. He's going to chop him up old school style. What a forearm shot, bro. Jerry Lynn, Irish whip from Jay Polanco across the ring. Oh, Polanco up and down in the cage. Lynn off the ropes. Oh, puts on the brakes, tries his. No, Lynn blocks it. Chopped there by Jerry Lynn. Series of chops now. And Polanco goes to the eyes. Neither man has tasted the steel yet. Absolutely. I have to think, Buck, that a match like this really plays to the favor of P.J. Polanco. Because Jerry Lynn being unable to fly. Oh! A super kick! Lynn went to the air early, coming off the second rope. But P.J. Polanco took that super kick. Why? There's two! And well, we almost had a very short ending to this steel cage match. Yes. Jerry Lynn not being able to, to, to use cocaine, to use sentiments to the floor. Jerry Lynn loves to use moves from the ropes to the floor as a counter, as an offense, as a defense, and he can't do that. And this constricts Jerry Lynn. It's a, it's a constricted environment in there, and I think that plays to the favor of P.J. Polanco. Absolutely, to see Polanco deliver a chop, now a punch to the head. Jerry Lynn's never been in a steel cage before. It's a different style of match. It's a oh, different yeah. way of thinking. Like you see Polanco now put Jerry Lynn down, work him over now. Polanco standing on the top rope as he pounds away at the head of the new FX show, Jerry Lynn. But Lynn firing back, and we've got a battle at the top of the cage. Oh, absolutely. And you never know when you watch professional wrestling how secure a steel cage is. And when you're a wrestler up there, you can only trust the steel cage so much. I think it's going to go to the floor. Jerry oh, Lynn ran twice into the cage and then gets crushed on the top rope. Again, that experience factor in the cage now coming to light here. P.J. Polanco ramming Jerry Lynn twice into the support beam across the top of the cage. 
and P.J. Polanco now letting the fans hear about it, and he's starting to limp, Buck. He's starting to limp a little bit. P.J. Polanco maybe an early injury here, but he's definitely in command at the moment as he throws a punch to Jerry Lynn, a second punch to the head. Jerry Lynn in a lot of trouble earlier, raking his face against the mesh. He's, up, he's already busted open. Well, Jerry Lynn the first to taste the steel as he is having his head rubbed against that mesh fence Cuts, dug into his forehead. He is in a bad, bad predicament right now. P.J. Polanco, the captain of the ship at this point in time of the matchup. Polanco firing off and only his right hand to actually hurt his own knuckles. Punching Jerry Lynn so hard in the head. Jerry Lynn is busted open. The cage has come into play and it is favoring D.J. Polanco here at Hardcore Homecoming. November 8th, as Jerry Lynn gets fired off head first into the steel mesh. He's going for a cover. Lynn barely able to kick out that ball. And the fans sitting silent in appreciation for what they're seeing. You don't hear anybody booing or yelling boring. Everybody's just sitting back absorbing the violence going on right now in the center of the ring. They're not sure who they want to cheer for. They're not sure who they want to boo. But the one thing is for sure, Buck, is that they are enjoying every minute of it. And the chop fest has resumed. Jerry Lynn turning things around over the series of chops. PJ firing back with chops of his own. Both of these men. No, back body drop. Oh! Lynn went back first into the cage and then caught his knee on the top rope as oh, yeah. he fell back into the ring. He may have torn ligaments with that. He got very lucky that his legs didn't tie up in that top rope because that could have torn ligaments up. We've seen many wrestlers injured. Two and. Oh, Jerry Lynn gets his shoulder up. Many wrestlers we've seen injured in something in similar fashion. Jerry Lynn slowly makes his way to his feet. The fans are getting behind the new weapon show. He elbows free, throws some right hands. Jerry Lynn getting back on the offensive. Whip across the ring, goes for it. Oh! There's a kick to the nether regions and a big lariat by Jerry Lynn. Follows up with a second clothesline. Jerry Lynn with momentum. He can feel it right now. Going on pure adrenaline at this point. Setting the pace himself. Reversal. Oh! This is the drop kick. Jerry Lynn has him in position now. Could be a catapult coming up, yes! And P.J. Polanco goes into the cage. Sling shots up, and I believe P.J. Polanco is busted open at this point, Buck. P.J. Polanco went right into the cage on the catapult. And uh, there he goes in a second time, and yes, yes, a third time. Jerry Lynn is on a roll, and P.J. Polanco is busted wide open. Well, it's obvious that Jerry Lynn's game plan, high impact, where P.J. Polanco, slow and methodical. Unfortunately for P.J. Polanco, Jerry Lynn right now is setting the pace. Jerry Lynn catches the leapfrog attempt and draws P.J. Polanco head first into the steel cage. Here's a cover by Lynn. One, two, and no! P.J. Polanco gets his shoulder up. The former world heavyweight champion, Jerry Lynn, the former world heavyweight champion, P.J. Polanco. Again, right now, Buck, it's, it's a crucial time of the matchup because this is where you check yourself. This is where you check yourself to see how much more you have left, especially if you're Jerry Lynn and you've never even been in a cage match. Irish whip, no! Swinging DDT by Lynn, that could be all. There's a cover, one, two, and no! P.J. Polanco gets his shoulder up. And Jerry Lynn has to be questioning himself right now. What can I do to end this cage match? I want to go to the top rope. I want to throw Polanco to the floor. I can't do that because I'm constricted inside of a steel cage. Jerry Lynn has learned firsthand why the steel cage match is the devastating, devastating stipulation it is. It may not be as fancy as a Taipei death match at Rock Chain, but it can be just as brutal as both men are once again battling atop the gate. Sunset from Parabob, one, two, and no! Lynn gets his shoulder up. I thought he had him there. I thought he had him. Dawn Marie was ready to, ready to turn over that key, the key to the cage, but the match will continue. I don't know how, but it will. DJ Polanco now. Kicking Jerry Lynn up off the mat. Matt, an excellent defensive maneuver there by DJ Polanco. He's got Jerry Lynn. Scoops him up. No, Lynn floats over. No, it's not Mayor there. Ducks on the lariat. Jerry Lynn kicked in the midsection. Sets him up. Could be that cradle pile driver. He's got it set. He gets it. Cradle pile driver. That's it. That's going to be a one, two, and no! DJ Polanco just took out a Jerry Lynn finisher, the cradle pile driver. That's it. That's that boost of confidence that Polanco needs, kicking out of that cradle pile driver. He's telling himself, I can do it. I can beat this guy. I can survive his best moves. And if you're Jerry Lynn, what do you do now after you just threw your best at Polanco? Yet he's about to stand up.
Polanco slowly makes his way back to his feet. Jerry Lynn is up. Comes to the head there. Jerry Lynn's going to put him in motion. No, reversal by Polanco. Reversal again. Whoa! Jerry Lynn puts on a break some time. Scoops him up. Could be. That's incredible. The tombstone piles over. Works for tombstone. Cover. One, two, and no! Now it's Jerry Lynn turning right. the tables. Kicking out of P.J. Polacco's finisher. Absolutely. At this point in time, Buck, it's anybody's game. They have thrown their best shots to one another. And at this point, they're just going to throw it all out there. It's 7th Street for these guys. All in, Buck. The cradle pile driver by Jerry Lynn. The corkscrew tombstone. That's incredible by P.J. Polacco. Both men kicked out of the other man's very best maneuver. The maneuvers that have won them championships in the past. It is now a war of attrition between P.J. Polacco and Jerry Lynn, and we're going back to the chops. Absolutely back to the chops, because at this point in time, I have to think that Polacco may not know what he wants to do. He just nailed, that's incredible, a Jerry Lynn. It didn't work, so now he, the, the, the chop will buy him some time. Gets up on the middle rope now as Jerry Lynn is set on the top turnbuckle inside that steel cage. He's lifting him up once again. We're battling atop the cage here in South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. P.J. Polacco goes to ram him in. No, Lynn blocks it. And Polacco takes the steal on top of the cage. And again a second time. Oh, no, they're going higher. Oh, they're going all the way up. That's a dangerous situation right there. I don't know how secure that cage is. The cage is already flopping around. P.J. Polacco is going up there. It's almost, it's like a warrior's agreement. They've agreed. They're going to battle it up on top of that cage. This is absolutely insane. They are slugging it out. They are 15 feet, 20 feet above the floor. They're also above the mat. One run, no, no, no. Oh, Polacco manages to land in the ring. Jerry Lynn's on the side against Polacco's race. Excuse me. Jerry Lynn has fallen the side of the steel cage, the the table at the Don Marie has unlocked the cage door. So out of ref- concern, out of concern for Jerry Lynn. Referee John Finnegan has to check and make sure Jerry Lynn can still continue. And that's the advantage that Polanco has. Polanco familiar with the cage. Jerry Lynn not familiar with the cage. Jerry Lynn may have been able to defend himself against something like that had he wrestled in a steel cage match before at some point in his career. That's what gave Polanco the advantage. Lynn is still down on the floor. Referee John Finnegan checking, making sure he wants to continue. Polanco has exited the cage, which he's not supposed to do. He was supposed to remain in there, but oh, this battle's going to the outside now. Oh, this has gotten personal now, Buck. This is just all personal. P.J. Polacco has picked up Jerry Lynn, and he's going to throw him right back inside that steel cage. Lynn could barely stand up. Lynn fell, what would you say, about 16, 18 feet in the air, buck to that table. He was clinging to the side of the cage, and Polacco ran into it full force. Jerry Lynn's back to the cage. Polacco has grabbed a chair. He's got a hold of it. He's arguing with referee John Finnick. Look at this. Oh! He just pulled a Michael Hayes on him. Referee John Finnegan has been blasted with the door that still cage. We need to get another referee out here. We've got a steel chair in the ring. Things are not looking good for Jerry Lynn right now. Well, at this point, you can't disqualify them because it's a steel cage match. So why not if you're Polanco? Well, that's what you got to say to yourself. Why not? Well, we've got no referee. The door is still unlocked. The referee needs to back away. She's way too close to that cage door. And we know. Wait a minute. Link out of. Lynn hit him. Call it the kryptonite clutch, call it the reality check. Wait a minute, what's this? Jason! Jason Knight! Jason! I didn't even see him come in the building! I didn't know he was here, he's not booked to be here! The former manager of PJ Polanco, Jason, has entered the cage. Referee John Finnegan is down behind that steel chair in the ring. Oh, this isn't fair, this isn't right. Jason has Jerry Liddy set him up. He's going to drop him on that chair, picks him up. No! DDT! Jerry Lynn with the DDT on Jason. Jason goes down on a steel chair. But no, P.J. Polacco's up. Polacco's up. The referee's down. Jason's down. And Jerry Lynn may be going down right now. Oh, wait a minute. P.J. Polacco has him set up, but that's incredible. That spinning tombstone. The reverse! Reversal! Jerry Lynn! Jerry Lynn hits the tombstone! Jerry Lynn covers, but we have no referee! Wait a minute, what? What the the hell's going on? What the hell's going on here? The lights are out, the lights are out. Are we still on? Are we still on the air? 
lights are out. The lights are out, and we still on the air. I don't even know if we're on the air right now. Is the match continuing? Maybe there's a power outage there's here. Noise in the ring. What the hell's going on? What? Let's start! Wild Storm is entering the cage! Wild Storm! That's what happened to the Impact players! Super kick by Wild Storm! Wild Storm is entered! He's got him up! Spike Tomb Stone! We've still got no referee. What the hell is Wild Storm doing here? He's not supposed to be here! The Impact players have reunited right Let's here in November Rain! The referee's been thrown back in. Lance Storm, one, two, three! They beat him! Lance Storm! Lance Storm! Lance Storm! Lance Storm! Lance Storm! 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 was in on it as well, Buck! Earlier tonight, she was talking about her Lance. Well, her Lance was not in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I'm not taking the time to pause. He was not in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Jason, Dawn Marie, PJ Polacco, and Lance Storm, the inbound players, have just fought Jerry Lynn, his very first steel cage match here at Hardcore Homecoming, November Rain. You know, when I watched the first DVD of Hardcore Homecoming, I thought Dick Foley was a hell of a surprise, but this... No surprise, this is just a...